Hi, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode three of Aussie Clough, our bid to return Nottingham Forest to the top of European football. Now, since the end of last episode, we've had that really disappointing loss uh, to Bradford in the Carabao Cup first round. You can see we've had a bit of a mixed bag, but more positive than the negative. Uh, first of all, we went to Wigan. This was a really tight game where we defended well. We took our chances. You can see uh, Malokase and Zelaw with the goals. Um, got us a good solid away win. Then we hosted Barnsley, and this was a really good team performance, but Zelaw was absolutely brilliant. 4-1 at finish. You can see Zelo with a hat-trick. James Tilly got a goal. It was only the 92nd minute that they got their goal on the board, which just took the shine off it a little bit for us. But 4-1 is still 4-1, a very good result. Then Oxford at home. This was an even game, and we went in front once again. Zelo with the goal. It's been absolutely phenomenal this month. Um, but he got the goal, and we just couldn't hang on. Um, like I say, it was an even game, so we can't really complain, but I would have liked to have uh, got the three points having gone in front. Then, check a trade trophy. We're not taking it seriously this year. I played the reserves to see how much depth we had, and turns out we don't have much depth. You can see it was 3-1. We got a goal back in the 93rd minute from James Tilly to get back to 2-1. I thought, here we go, we'll pour everybody forward. And then 30 seconds later, they got a third, and that was that done and dusted. So a little bit disappointing, but like I say, we're not taking it seriously, so I'm not too bothered about it. We see what that did to the league table. You can see we're sitting in 10th. We've played less games than everybody else. We've only played four games. We've got eight points. So right now we're a point outside the playoffs with a game in hand. Uh, we're only three points off automatic promotion once again with a game in hand. So um, not ideal to be sitting in 10th, but with games in hand, it's obviously still ages and ages and ages to go. Um, things aren't looking too bad. And of course, for all the goals from those games uh, in between episodes, goals of the month at the end of the, epi at the, end of the episode after the, uh, the Bradford City game, um, you'll see all those, so make sure you stay tuned for those. And before we get on with today's episode, which of course will be Chesterfield and Bradford City, both the way Bradford City, the revenge after the Carabao Cup game. Just a few transfers to catch you up on. Uh, we have Andrew Corner, a bit of a midfield prospect that we signed on a free transfer. Uh, you can see good determination, decent vision, decent passing. Um, hopefully he'll develop into something. A little bit, like I say, we had no depth, so a little bit of midfield depth for us. Uh, Mick Connolly is another one, another midfield prospect. If we get that to come up, there we go. Um, you can see good physical stats. So he's not a midfield, he's a, he's a left back who we're going to train in also into a left winger. Good physical stats, which I like. Good determination, good decision making. Um, technically could be a little bit better, but I think we've got a decent backup player there. And the big one, the £120,000 player, Mirko Toth from Maribor in uh, Slovenia. Look at these stats here. Look at this. Acceleration, agility, natural fitness, pace, stamina, all the, all the key physical stats. We're going to look to retrain him into a wing back, a right wing back, just get him up and down the wing. Um, I see him as a little bit maybe as like a league one version of Stamankovic for those of you who have been with us since the Villa days. Um, I think he could be really good getting up and down. He's got decent dribbling as well, which we can look to improve. So big hopes for Mirko Toth. But let's get on with Chesterfield, and this is the team we're going with. You'll see we've gone to the 5-3-2. Uh, reason being, if we see here, it's an international break right now, so we're missing a few key players on international duty. And I just think with the players available to us, this formation suits us a little bit better than possibly playing the 4-3-3. Um, so it's day in goal. It's Davidson, Ball, and Malakase in the uh, defense. Uh, Dennis, too many double barrels. Holmes, Dennis, and the Silva Lopez provide the width. Uh, James and Mason in midfield. Tilly comes in and places Zelaw. Uh, Tilly's a little bit better in this role, and Zelaw has played a lot, so it's a chance to give him a rest as well. Uh, so Tilly will play in behind uh, El Elizage and Callum Mosley, who's back from injury. Hopefully, these will be the uh, the team. These will be the boys that will go out there and pick up a good three points in the league. All right, we can see uh, Chesterfield there going the old four four two. I don't take too much from the, um, the, the Carabao Cup. What was it? Check a trade trophy game because I don't think they were necessarily playing their best team either. Um, I don't necessarily... Let's go, go out and impress me. We'll go with that. Uh, then some passion that we have faith. And if we perform like we have done in most of our league games, um, then we should, be, we should do okay here. Just a couple of, uh, of lackluster second halves has cost us so far. All right, come on, Forrest. I'm hoping uh, Elzage and Mosley will develop a bit of a partnership for us, sort of a big man, little man. Elzage is, is a big target man, and we know Callum Mosley is, is quick across the ground. So I'm hoping that they'll develop a bit, of a, a bit of a partnership for us. So if we do want to play this formation with the two men up top, um, that they're a good option for us. Here comes in the set piece. Can we head that clear? We can kind of get it clear. We have got it clear now. All right, come on, Callum. 
gets on his feet, on his boat into El Hajj. It's not the best pass. It's a little bit of momentum lost, but good ball for Callum Mosley. First time in for Tilly. Tilly, oh, should have done better than that. Straight at the keeper, but good flowing football. Though. That was very promising. I think we've got a couple of knocks on the bench. As I said, we don't have much depth as it is, but with international football going on as well, um, we have, uh, we're on the bare bones right now. And of course, your better players tend to get cold up as well. So uh, that, that hasn't helped. But I think we should be good enough to be able to get past Chesterfield here. I didn't see where they were in the league. Um, but I, there's not any team in this league that I think we should be scared of. That's for sure. A little bit of a snooze fest there in defense. But we've got away with that Oli Day. I just gave them a concentrate shout too, which is extra frustrating. Uh, we might give this a demand more if we can because it's not quite happening for us just yet. It's never easy when you take over a new club. You, you don't usually hit the ground running. Um, and it, it can be a little bit frustrating because, you know, at Villa, we had things that were just, everything just sort of worked, didn't it? Whereas we've got to kind of redo that here. Um, I'm th I'm thinking we have been doing defensive training. I'm thinking we might just do maybe a little bit of teamwork or tactical training. We were doing that in preseason to get everybody used to each other. Um, but I'm thinking we might just go back to that because we don't seem to have the same fluidity that we did um, when we were in preseason. So we tell them it wasn't good enough because match ratings, you know, they are not good enough. Uh, just tell the guys on bookings that we need them to take it calm and not get a second booking. Um, and then I think we'll go back out. We could look potentially here at looking to exploit the flanks. Um, we do have two good uh, good wing-backs as well. Uh, Holmes Dennis and, and De Silva Lopez are, are quite good for this level. Um, so we might need to just look at maybe getting them involved a little bit more. Let's see what we can do here if this is going to be a highlight. We haven't really created... just had that one chance that we've created, but they haven't really created much either. So... Not the best game uh, to be watching. I certainly wouldn't want to necessarily be in the ground for this one. Um, but we're building up something here nicely. They've just got men behind the ball. Callum Mosley, can he get some magic? Look at the space out there. We're going to have to exploit the flanks. Here's ball in. Goal! Oh! So much space for Holmes Dennis, and we built it in nicely. Callum Mosley spotted it, and look at the time and the space, and he's picked out his man. It look, could have gone to one or two. I think Callum Mosley could almost have tucked that in at the near post, but El is there, and what we're going to do right now is exploit the flanks because that that was a lot of space out there. Now, let's hope that we can maintain a lead this time. We're very good at going in front. Um, we're not so good at staying there. And that's a bit of a problem. Uh, Matty James is just not quite clicking for us yet either. Uh, as a captain of the team, that's a little bit disappointing. Let's give them a concentrate here. You wouldn't say we've been the better team, would you? Um, certainly by possession, we're, they've just shaded it. Shots on goal, they've just shaded it. Davidson's done well there to clear that. Come on, Matty, get that a clear... Mason out wide to Holmes Dennis. He's got a lot of space in front of him. Can he pick a pass? He can, Elzage. It's no, uh, it's not that wasn't a good ball. So a little bit more patience, if anything, in attack. It's almost like we're rushing just a touch. It's a ball in behind. Davidson's there back to Ollie Day who can clear it. Now Elzage is good in the air. If he can win that, he can down to Tilly. Look at the space for our fullbacks again. Mason, out here, mate. There he goes. De Silva Lopez back in field. This is good first time to stuff. Tilly back out to Lopez. Can he get across? And look how many men are in the box. Oh, how have we not picked one out? Matty James takes a touch out to Dennis Holmes. Yeah. That's the second of the game. It, not the best goalkeeping we'll see all season, I don't think. But look how many men we had forward. James took a touch. I thought he could have shot himself. Uh, Holmes Dennis, yeah, it's, that's not great goalkeeping, is it? But a goal is a goal, and that's all we care about. So we've given them some praise for that. 
that should help settle the nerves a little bit now. Now I'm looking at Mellow Case, who's a little bit knackered. We might, he's on a booking as well. So we might just look to take him off. Uh, Mitchell here, he's just coming back from an injury himself. So he's not fully fit, but he should be able to do 20 minutes. That shouldn't be a problem. We have faith in him to get out there. This is, of course, one of the guys we brought from Aston Villa with us. So we've seen Ryan Mitchell perform in the, the Champions League and group stage games that were dead rubbers. So League One shouldn't be a problem for him. Nice ball out there for Holmes Dennis. So much space for these wing backs. He gets the cross in. Can El Hodge get there? Probably, again, should have done better. Our finishing is letting us down, isn't it? That was the case. Was it the Bradford game last episode where we... Or was it... Oof. Or was it the opening game even against... Uh, who was that first game against? One of those two games last episode, we absolutely butchered it and somehow didn't score enough goals to win the game. Let's give them a concentrate here. Just start and wind the clock down a little bit for us. Uh, Dennis Holmes has done a really good job. He's on a booking. Let's, let's give him a bit of an early rest. We can put our wing backs to defend now because we don't need to go and win the game twice. Defend. Uh, anything else we want to do? Mason's looking a little tired. Do we bring Corner on for a debut? We might bring him on, but we'll just make one sub now, and then we'll make another time-wasting sub in a second here. Uh, for 14 shots on goal, I don't remember Oli uh, Day having too many shots to save. Let's hope we haven't put the mockers on that. All right, can we get this clear, please, boys? Let's not dive in. Oof. Ambitious, I'll say that. That was definitely ambitious. Uh, let's go and give our new midfielder... Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll bring Bobby McCormack, old Bobby Mack on. Much better prospect. This guy could actually, if we end up... Well, hopefully we'll end up back in the Premier League. I think Bobby Mack could probably go the whole way with us. He's uh, quite highly rated. Um, but this should be it. Five seconds to go. It's a first victory on the channel with Nottingham Forest, which is nice because it wasn't, uh, the performances were promising last episode, but the results just weren't there. Are we going to get one back? No. Finishing is definitely of a lower standard in, uh, in this league, isn't it, than what we were used to. But that is surely that. Any time, Ref, you can blow this up for us. In your own time, Mr. Day. And this should be it. Not really sure that was worth the wait. Uh, no, we're going to continue. All right, we're going into a sixth minute of four. That's nice. That's day's ball. You're probably better off going into your area and picking it up, but that's fine. There it is. It eventually came for us, the win. We made to wait both in terms of g games played and just general miniature stoppages, but we can be uh, pretty happy with that, I think. So there we go, up to fifth, only two points off the top now with a game in hand. Things are starting to look a little bit better, aren't they? Quality finishing the difference. Matty James picked up a knock. Oh no, four to five weeks, that's not great. Uh, well, we're already struggling in midfield. A gashed arm. Um, can you just play through a gashed arm? I feel like it's probably okay. Uh, Mitchell makes his debut, Tilly impresses, wait right there and we'll be back for the Bradford City Revenge. Okay, welcome back and here we go, Bradford City away. You can see we are the favourites, quite heavy favourites actually, aren't we? Uh, so let's see what we can do here. This is the team we're going with. I don't see a sense in changing the formation to be honest because I thought we, we did okay last, last time. We certainly didn't uh, concede too many chances. So we're going with the same formation though, a few changes in players. Uh, Oli Day in, in uh, is in goalkeeper. It's Davidson, Suter comes back in and Malakase. Uh, Dennis Holmes stays on the left but we're bringing Njoku back on the right. Uh, Lewis Brunt comes in to play in place of Matty James. That's a big loss, Matty James, but hopefully Brunt can do a job. Uh, Mason will be with him in midfield and we're going with Tilly, Elza and uh, Callum Mosley again up top um, and again Zelo we're resting in because he's not s properly suited to this formation and we're limited in terms of actually we need to bring Marco Toth back in uh, and we're limited in terms of um, of lone players so rather than pigeonhole him in somewhere we're just going to leave him out and and sort of play with uh, with these guys so hopefully it'll get some revenge for the Carabao Cup all right so we can see the way they're lining up that's the same as they did against us in the Carabao Cup um, 
tell them to pick up where they left off. I don't really like that. We've been on a good run. I guess we can go with that again. Uh, we'll just go again with the passion that we have faith. That seemed to do okay last time, didn't it? Um, so we don't want to become predictable necessarily in our team talks. Um, but if it worked once, why won't it work again? That's general motto, isn't it? All right, let's go. All right, come on, Forrest. This would obviously be a... a, a I mean, not that there's necessarily any real big games at this time of the year, but if we if we could uh, get a win here, I think we would we'd start and push clear of, of those outside of the playoffs. Um, so it would definitely be a, a nice game to win. But I think away from home, given the state of the season, where we're at, a draw wouldn't be a terrible result here. I, I imagine Bradford City are going to be a team that's right up there, and they showed us in the Carabao Cup that they are a decent team as well. So if we can uh, get a result here, I think it would be a very good one. A result is in three points. We, I don't think there's many teams in this division, as I said, that we should be fearing oof, unlucky, that we should be fearing losing against. Um, because we did come down from the championship. We have quite a b big budget. We still have some wages that we can spend as well. Um, let's just give this maybe a demand more when we can. Uh, we do still have some wages. It, I don't want to bring players in just for the sake of it. Um, unless they are actual championship players, because I'm not expecting to be in this division next year, if I'm honest. So I want to start and and build a squad for next season, knowing that it will obviously be good enough that to get us out of this division. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's make sure we defend here first. All right, what can we do? Can we get a foot in? Can we get a foot in? We're jockeying nicely. Not much space. They are keeping the ball, though. That's a good forward pass. It's the oh, holy day. I think he probably had it covered, but it was a decent effort. Uh, James Tilly's making a lot of mistakes. We do have Mars, Leo. Is it Louis Mars? Leo Mars? Louis Mars, who we could look to put back in there. Um, we could always look to change the formations. We're not passing the ball well, but we're not actually doing too badly. Again, we'll just say calmly we're not pleased. Uh, Holmes Dennis, he can do better. Elzage, we'll just calmly tell him to avoid getting a booking. Everybody looks fired up. Um, so let's just get back out there. Let's just have a look. I'm just trying to see how narrow they're playing. Obviously, we saw against Chesterfield the amount of space... <laughs> One for the cameras from Ollie Day. Uh, the amount of space that they had out wide, I don't, I don't think that Bradford is playing quite the same way. Not thrilled with Callum Mosley's game, but I think that's as much probably down to not, just not having had the ball whoop, as anything else. Um, we haven't seen him have a chance, so it's not too surprising. I, Tilly is is the one that's walking the line though, isn't he? Uh, let's see, Pickworth with the goal kick. Can we win that header? We can. We have just men, mountains at the back, so we should be winning most headers. Let's see, Bradford looks like they're going to build here. We're giving them a little bit of space, but... We, oh, there we go, Mason's won that back. Early ball to Elzage. Can he pick out Callum Mosley? Can he pick... He's picked Tilly. Tilly picks out Mosley. Go on, Callum. Go on, son. Go for <laughs> That Notting Forest fans is what Callum Mosley does. You can see good movement off the ball, goes one way, then just finishes back across the keeper. Wonderful goal. That's that's Callum Mosley at his best, I'd say. That's the sort of thing that we saw him doing in the Premier League in Europe, and that's the reason that he's the golden boy of Europe. And hopefully, he will now can, that'll sort of get him underway for us because he is truly is a wonderful player. Now let's concentrate here and not go and concede a goal straight away please Ollie Day the safest houses I'm sure I'm sure that looked like he wasn't backtracking at the last minute was not at all the case and he was very comfortable under that um, all right, Bradford's just winning a ball back again all right, can we get a foot in here can we get a foot in can we get a foot in it's gone over the top Callum Mosley tracking his man diligently just clear it now Callum y yeah yeah, we'll take that. Not the direction I would have liked the clearance to go, but it got there in the end, and we might even have a decent chance of a counter track here. Can Killy, Killy, can Tilly pick out Callum Mosley? He's in again. Go on, Callum. Do it again. Do it again. Go
I think he may have found his boots, everybody. Callum Mosley, two goals in almost as many minutes, isn't it? We're only 10 minutes into the second half, and he's already got two. You can see again, good movement, cross the keeper, goes the other side this time, just chips it out of his reach. Callum Mosley, I think he may have arrived for us, everybody. Yeah, look at that. Two goals in very quick succession there. We've given them a call of concentrate. Um... Now, the game's obviously, we've got to get back into the routine of games coming absolutely thick and fast. Um, and we don't quite have the depth that we had in uh, in Aston Villa, at Aston Villa. So what we might look to do here, Holmes Dennis is not having his best game. He's looking a little tired. So we might just bring Baxter on. Um, Baxter's not, he's young, so it, it he's not not perfect yet. Um, but we might just make that change. Is there anybody else that's looking really tired? Not particularly. We don't need to attack anymore, so we might just go back to control. Uh, Elzage is looking tired. He's on a booking. He hasn't done too much, has he? So we might even just bring Louis Mars on for him. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll just play Louis Mars as a defensive... Oh, sorry, as a play as a, a defensive forward on support. Um, just close them down at the back. Gets that booking off the field as well, which is which is nice. Um, haven't had too much possession, but if again, if you've been with us from the Villa days, you'll know that we didn't always dominate possession. That wasn't necessarily our thing. Uh, we got that clear, and again, it's penalty kick. What has Mason done there? Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna do it again, are we? We concede so many goals once we've gone in front. All right, come on, Ollie Day. Let's see if we can get a save out of your son. Come on. Oh, he went the right way. Just, yeah. All right. So let's give this a concentrate. Oh, I don't sure that that clicked. There we go. We don't need to panic. Um, he probably should have saved that, you know, having gone the right way. Yeah, we don't need to panic, but maybe just, yeah, a little bit of panic is always good, isn't it? Keeps you on your toes. I don't want to go defensive yet because that's just asking for trouble. Can we give them a, a, one more shot of concentrate? All right, we, now I'm happy to go defensive. Now we're going to go into tactics and we are going to just, just kill this game off. We're going to go to a slower tempo, highly structured. We're going to stay on our feet. We're going to be more disciplined. We're going to stick to positions and we're going to retain possession. We might just go mixed passing though. We don't always have the best passes of the ball, so let's not tell them to be scared of uh, just putting one long if that's what needs to happen to it. All right, Suta with the free kick. This is nicely retaining possession. Look at that, as instructed. Tilly, Tilly beats one. He finds Callum Mosley on a hat trick, of course. Now Mosley beautifully back to Brunt. There's a pass for out to Njoku. Njoku back post to Callum Mosley for the hat trick. Oh! <laughs> That's more like it, isn't it? Look at this patient build-up play. Brunt, we're playing him as a deep playmaker. Knocks a beautiful pass out. Dink to the back post. And Mosley, no mistake with his head. Is that a perfect hat trick? Did he go left foot, right foot head? Or was... I'm not sure. He might have scored both of his goals with his right foot, actually. I think the first two. But we'll take that. This should be it. 3-1. Much better, this episode, isn't it? This is... We can see we're just starting to kick into gear a little bit now. Um... This was without, of course, Z-Law as well, who has been absolutely phenomenal for us. And like I say, after this, uh, you'll see goals of the month. And it's a little bit of a Z-Law special, if I'm honest. Um, but he did score a lot of goals. So um, it's well worth a good introduction to a new signing as well, I think, for, for all of us that uh, but didn't see him at Villa. And he didn't, didn't play all that much at Villa either because um, you know, he wasn't, he's a good player, young player, but he wasn't quite necessarily at Premier League level just yet, whereas I feel like he's definitely at, at League One level. So there it is. It was like watching a different team in the second half. Three goals for us. Came back into possession. 16 shots on goal. It's all starting to look a little bit nice, isn't it? Uh, we might even go a passionate well done this time. Get in, boys. There we go. We're top of the league. We're top of the league. Six games in. Game in hand. We're already a point. Uh, well, we're equal, aren't we, with a game in hand. Callum Mosley sends Forrest top. That's what we like to see. Good signing, isn't it? Makes it always 
I really like, you know, when you make a signing and they end up doing something like that. And we've seen Z-Law and, and the fact that they're named after people who watch the channel as well um, makes it a little bit special that it's it's sort of our own Youth Academy products that are coming into the new club and really, really setting the, the scene on fire. Um, so that's it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, thumbs up. Five goals scored, three six points on the board. How could you not have enjoyed that? Uh, but yeah, thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. It's going to be a big season. We're hopefully going to get promotion. So you wouldn't want to miss that. Next time we'll come back and we will do, I think we'll probably, if we do what, Coventry and Rochdale in the league. I think that's probably probably a good uh, a good duo to come back for. So make sure you, you tune in for that. That'll be on Thursday. But until then, I've been Aussie Bill and thank you very much for watching. And here are our goals of the month for August. Take care. <laughs>